So you mentioned yaw. So we're going to move to yaw now. And yaw is basically the twisting of the vehicle left to right. So the first thing we're going to look at is the worn OE. Yeah, so throughout this braking motion, you really see a lot of yaw movement with the worn OEMs. Um, like you said, at the beginning, it's very smooth because that's going to be the initial application of the brakes where you don't actually have maximum braking power yet. But as you get further into the motion, um, yaw starts to get really excessive. This could indicate that either the shocks are really worn out and they're just not having good stability on the road, so there's a lot of bouncing happening, causing it to kind of deflect left to right rather than break in a straight line. It could also be an indicator of driver confidence. If those uh, struts aren't performing well, then maybe the driver's feeling a lot of shake in the steering wheel and they're not able to get a solid braking maneuver. So now we're adding the low-cost competitor and comparing that to the worn OEM. It doesn't really look that different. It, it really doesn't. In fact, it seems to be a little more severe. There seems to be more degrees of movement. And we did an alignment every time we put new parts on the vehicle, every right? Every time we put new parts on, we did, uh, we did an alignment. Now we're going to look at the premium competitor. It looks like the premium competitor was more stable throughout the entire braking motion. Now, like you mentioned, there is a lot more movement at the very beginning. Uh, possibly because it had better traction. Okay, so let's then look at KYB and compare the, the yaw. Wow. Yeah, it's overall a lot smoother throughout. Um, the premium competitor didn't look like it was that bad actually, but when you overlay it with the KYB, there's still some, there, it's clear there's still some improvement to be made. We're gonna look at roll next and roll is the movement of the vehicle side to side. Quite a bit of movement throughout the entire braking period. They were moving uh, 24 degrees to the left and 26 to the right, so that's really severe. It is almost all the way through this braking event. Overall, not, not very good, not ideal for sure. It's not directly caused by a lack of driver confidence, but it will probably lead to a lack of driver confidence over time because they don't feel like they're able to control the vehicle since it's moving around so much. The low cost competitor, not much difference here. There's, there's not much difference when we, yeah, when we look at the low cost competitor versus the worn OEM, they're still pretty severe side to side roll. Yep, throughout the entire maneuver. It's bad for driver confidence, ultimately. So you can see with the premium competitor here, there was quite a bit of roll initially, even more so to a degree than the low cost competitor, but then it smooths out significantly, um, but then comes back in at the end. So let's look at KYB now. Wow, that's a big difference less severe movements overall and more consistent throughout the motion compared to all of the previous three. Now the engineer agrees with me. <laughs> so now we're going to look at the pitch of the vehicle under braking and pitch is the amount of basically dive and rebound or sometimes they call it porpoising as it goes, sure, goes sure. up and down. So you can see here this is the worn OEM uh, a lot of movement up and down throughout the entire thing and quite a bit at the very end, which means as you're coming to the end, it's, it's bouncing as you come to the end of the braking maneuver. And more than the other three vehicle body motions, this is probably the one that's going to be most noticeable and most felt by the driver. Um, you want to minimize this motion as much as possible uh, because Obviously when you're braking, you're going to dive initially a little bit and then the vehicle has to come back up. So there's going to be some canceling of that initial dive, but you want it to kind of level off after that. What we're seeing with this worn OEM is that it just keeps bouncing. So you can see there's still some pretty severe movement with the uh, low cost competitor. Mm -hmm. And again, it's, it maintains it throughout the entire braking maneuver. Maintains it throughout the entire braking maneuver, and there's still about three bounces at the very end. Now we'll look at premium competitor. 
You can see it is a little bit smoother. There's quite a bit initially, but then it smooths out and then dives a bit towards the end. All right, so now we're gonna take a look at KYB. A significant initial movement, but overall throughout the maneuver, it levels off actually fairly quickly, even quicker than the, than the competitor. The valving of the units was where it was designed to be and matching the original OEM design, which is what we always try to do. So it can make a difference. It can make a difference when you combine that with uh, yaw and roll uh, with the pitch. So again, more control overall. Yep.